Hi, this is Alan Edwards. This is my microwave. It works great. The last April when we opened it, it blew out. And the fuse was blown, nothing lit up, it was completely dead. I had a service man come out and he couldn't fix it. I looked on YouTube, um, looked at all the videos I could find. They all kind of got at what the problem was, but none of them how to fix it. So ultimately I did fix it. It took a $10 part and I'm going to show you what that part is and what you need to do and why a microwave is designed to blow its fuses. All right, so let's get started. If your microwave has failed completely and is blowing fuses, maybe it's the same problem mine had. I fixed it by changing this $10 part. In this video, I'm going to tell the story of what happened to mine, explain why microwaves are designed to blow fuses and how this part makes that happen. This part holds the switches and the door handle, which is here, comes in and opens and closes these switches. Okay, let me draw a picture of how a microwave works. I'm going to just simplify it and here's the magnetron and it has a bunch of coils and if you look on a schematic it's much more complicated than what I'm going to show. But basically the power comes in from the line, the wall, goes through a fuse, goes through a door switch, goes through another switch that's controlled by the electronics, all the electronics here, and then it comes out and goes back and completes the circuit. But there's another part in here that another switch and it shorts out the input to the magnetron so that and it's called a monitor switch and the reason it's there is in case the door is open but this switch has failed and it's closed and it tries to turn on the microwave this switch will be closed and it'll blow the fuse and basically send you to the repair shop and it's required by law that the microwave basically is designed to kill itself if it ha is able to go on when the door is open because that'll blind you it'll cook your eyeballs so it's very important to have that in there so the way this works is the door comes in and closes and two things happen I don't know if you can see that here but this edge rubs against that first switch and that opens the switch and then this tip will press the other switch so the sequence is that the the door latch comes in at this one at the top and it opens that switch before the one at the bottom can contact the other switch and close it. But in order for that to happen, th this has to be basically pinched between the switch here and the edge of this <coughs> plastic part. But over the years that wears away and th when this goes in it doesn't push on the the part and that's what blows the fuse. So the solution is that this part which is I just looked it up ten dollars and thirty eight cents on my Bosch microwave with a, a genuine Bosch part. So now this is a cheap part. They must make a ton of them because they fail. Then you can get these switches on Amazon for um, ten bucks I think. I also bought this part because it shows a little bit of wear here. I don't think that was necessary, but as long as I had it apart, I thought I'd do it. But it's actually kind of a pain to change this one because you got to take the door apart. So if I had to do it over again, I'd save the 25 bucks for this part. So I, when I bought this, I got a service contract. It said repair or replace. That's what it said in the advertisement. In the actual fine print of the document, 
they don't replace it, they just cash out. So five years later, they gave me my money back, which wouldn't buy a new one, so it wasn't a replacement. But what happened was I called the service, you know, it's less than five years, just barely. I had the serviceman come out. Uh, actually, he said, I don't know why they call me. I don't know anything about wash microwaves. But he pointed out that you had to take the whole thing apart. You had to take it down, that the fuse was not accessible like it is on some microwaves. And so to replace the fuse, he'd have to take it down. And he, the way the service contract works is he has to give an estimate to the company and then they authorize it and that's how much he gets paid. So he said, well, it might be the magnetron, it might be the switches, it might be this, it might be that. He added them all up. And so they basically totaled it. Uh, and that's why I got my $450 back, whatever it was. Um, the other thing about these over the hood microwaves is that they're full of grease. So I had to disassemble it and take it and put it on my driveway and use soap and it was actually quite an effort. But it, it works fine once I figured out how to repair it. Um, I will say that I watched half a dozen videos where people bent this part, put a little screw in, drilled a hole, moved the switches around, all to try to get at this problem, but they never actually, nobody was talking about replacing the part. The damn part's only 10 bucks. I think I did it at Parts Select, but that's the way to do it, you know, fix it. And it, it's like new, it'll probably last another five years before it goes out again, and I'll have to take it apart and clean out all the grease. Um, if you have a countertop one, no big deal. And some of them, the fuses are easy to get out. But the fuses, some you can pay as much for a fuse as I did for that plastic part that fixed it. So um, anyway, I would say just go for the part, fix it. You'll be able to tell. You can disconnect the wires to the monitor uh, switch. Make sure the door is shut, and you know, see if the thing works. With if you replace the fuse, then you'll know for sure that it's not the magnetron or something. But don't run it like that because you need the protection. All right, thanks, good luck.